in the process of figuring this all out, but it's exciting. It's also like, I'm very, I'm actually like a bit stressed. I don't get stressed, but I am like, fuck, I, I like, it sucks being this far into this project, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. What's going on everyone? It is, what is it? Friday, Friday, Friday. Time to get at it today. There's a lot of problems with cold on Friday. You have a couple issues. One, people are out of the office. People are taking Fridays off. Second thing is if you're able to schedule an appointment, that appointment's not gonna happen until Monday. So now they have Saturday, Sunday to forget about the fact that they have an appointment scheduled and the probability of them showing up on Monday decreases a lot compared to if you can set up an appointment for the very next day. I don't love the whole cold call on Friday thing, but I really wanted to not sit on my butt and not cold call. So instead I switched over to Upwork. I'm just applying as many jobs on Upwork as possible. That's what we're up to, that's what we're doing. Pitching retainers, baby. Hey, how's it going? I just wanted to reach out to say hi real quick. I saw your job posting and I thought I'd be able to potentially be helpful. It seems like you might just need like, you know, a little bit of content going on every single week. That being said, just enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. Friendly, always friendly, always. We're trying to build trust here. The One of the most important things when you're doing what I call warm outbound, applying to jobs on Upwork is warm outbound. You need to be fast. It is all about speed. Once a job goes up, you need to be one of the first to re respond to it. It makes a big difference. All right, guys, it's Friday night, 9.45 p.m. You wanna win? You wanna win? You wanna know the secret to winning? It's this, every Friday night, going on 10 p.m. for years. It's called sacrifice and consistency. When, all, when everyone's out partying, get your ass in here and stop complaining. All right, I'm gonna go walk home. I didn't ride my bike today, so we're walking. Good night. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's week 12 and you still haven't subscribed? All right, stop right now. Go to the bottom of this video, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and then hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we release one of these videos. Back to the video. Hey, biz dev tip. So hope you're having an amazing weekend. Here's what I'm doing this weekend to get more clients for my social media company. I went on Indeed and I'm looking for people that are looking to hire contractors to do social media marketing, but I'm not reaching out on indeed.com. What I do is I find the company's website. Once I have the company's website, I can find the company's LinkedIn, and then I can find the owner of the business and cold email them um, using Rocket Reach. And there's this guy just emailed and they're looking for social media marketing help. And his profile talked about how he loves tacos. They're based in Austin. I know the best taco place in Austin. Emailed him, I was like, hey, I want to help you for free, go over some strategy stuff. And I wanna do it at the best taco place in Austin, Texas. So we'll see if it works. What's going on everyone? New mask, new me. It's Monday. Well, I like this new mask. Look at this mask. All right, cool calling time, baby. Let's do it. Hey, how's it going? And I was looking to talk to the person who's in charge of marketing. I believe that's you. And right now we're looking to take on some new clients. Gotcha. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> he says, <laughs> I said, would, would, you, would you be interested in having us do that for you? <laughs> he goes, no, I really wouldn't. Hey, how's it going? And I was looking to talk to the person who's in charge of marketing. Yeah, hi, how's it going? <laughs> okay, sounds good. We'll just enjoy the rest of your week. Not having a ton of luck with these. For those of you that are like scared to cold call, I think one way to make it like feel like less nerve wracking, pretend you're the marketing guy at someone else's company. I got kicked out of the other room. They're doing stuff in there, so. <sighs> got a new room. You're, you're like a, you're pretty much a TikTok influencer. I have like butterflies right now. I'm talking to a, <laughs> a TikTok influencer. So there's different types of content you're gonna to put out. There's more, there's gonna be content that's more like how to, or like you wanna help. And then there's content that we could potentially go viral with. The better job we can do with getting the viral content to go viral, the more people that we can impact. So there's a lot of things that you wanna like help people with, that you wanna teach, et cetera. A good thing to note is Instagram Reels three or four days ago just 
increase to 30 seconds, which means if you keep your content under th like 30 seconds or less on TikTok, then we can repurpose all of that for Instagram Reels. And then the Instagram Reel will be like every three, four, five, six, we'll post to your feed on Instagram. Other thing to note is YouTube is releasing their own version of TikTok soon too. So then when we copy that, we can just also post that on YouTube. All right, guys, haven't shot too much today, but gotten pretty far along with this new hire in the Philippines. She's doing a great job. My lawyer client's really happy. I spent like an hour and a half on a call with my like free client. So really want to get started getting, pumping out content with her. Just creating content over here, making things work. About to call it a night though, pretty uh, beat. So I will, uh, I'll have to film a little bit more for you guys tomorrow. So I will see you guys later. So yeah, the rest of today, I'm gonna do some like sales stuff. I actually decided I need to do more like discovery, which sucks. We're so far in the project, I'm still doing discovery, but this is what happens in entrepreneurship. You, uh, you need to figure out the right path to go on. What I know factually is one, doing the cold calling I did worked. That's a fact. Two, TikTok is very real. Like TikTok works. TikTok you can blow it up with. So then I'm like, fuck, well, there's so much opportunity in TikTok and TikTok influencers and all these things. Maybe I really do need to just leverage TikTok, which by the way, I wanna make this clear right now. So I don't remember when it was, it was like a month or so ago, but I had said, I'm not going to do a TikTok agency. I was like, damn, I really don't think I can keep building a TikTok agency. I highly regret saying that. I take it all back. I'm using TikTok. So the reason I had said that there was two reasons. One of them was a TikTok influencer that we were going to hire for the MDC project. We ended up not doing that. The second person was someone that invited me onto their TikTok podcast. I consider that person to be someone that could mentor me. There was a friend, which he's a very nice person. But both of those individuals I haven't talked to in two months. I did learn like very small things from them, but honestly, the, the way that I learned TikTok, all I've been doing every single day is studying the platform for one to two hours a day, every single day. Look at this, every day. Daily average, two hours and nine minutes. You see that? That's how much time I'm spending on TikTok every day. Literally investing every fucking day I'm on TikTok. Like me, myself, during this fucking project, all I've been doing is being on TikTok because I know that TikTok's gonna play a big factor in me trying to get to this million dollar goal. Here's what's funny. When I said that at that point where my mind was at, I didn't know TikTok enough. And now I know it enough where I'm very, very confident in the platform. So I'm telling you guys right now, I'm starting my business. It's gonna be leveraging TikTok hard, but I don't wanna be doing an agency. I just need cash flow. So I think I'm gonna set those things up and go light with it. Hopefully get it to cash flow, maybe like five to 10 grand a month maybe. And then I think the real opportunity is blowing up e-commerce through it. That's what we're doing today. It's a lot of, today I'm doing a lot of, uh, thinking, planning, strategizing, a little bit of sales, and a lot of pounding of coffee because I need like at least two cups today. Something, something's not right. What's going on, dude? This is Travis. By the way, uh, Travis quit his job to go full-time entrepreneur, which I get, applaud you for. What do you, what, what type of stuff do you typically do for your clients? Like, is there like some specific or is it just like all over? So yeah, some need more or less depending on where they're at, right? So if they're just starting their business, they have nothing. They haven't like conceived of a brand, maybe their tone and their voice is not consistent. If they do, then it could be much more like content marketing, trying to find your targeted audience, right? So it's like, where are you at? It's a, dictates what I do. I'm just curious, cause you said that you quit your job to go like full time on TikTok. So like, what was your game plan? Like, is there like a, a certain amount of money you're like, I need to just hit this every month and I'm good? Yeah, yeah, which is why I reduced everything. I was like, before we even make something, let's reduce everything. And then just do look at your recurring bills, all yeah. the Amazon Hulus, stay it up. This is great because that's, that's what I, I've been saying a lot in the videos that we put out is, if you wanna run your own business, you need to downsize, get your, how much you need to live as low as possible. If you don't mind me asking, do you know, would you be comfortable sharing what that number was? So it was 4,800 and now it's 1,600. 
Wow. So you went from $4,800 to $1,600 a month. Everything you got rid of, you said BMW. Lease, yep. Uh, apartment lease, which was right on the water. Eating out versus cooking your own food. Canned beans, rice, chicken, <laughs> eggs. We had this whole thing, <laughs> bean life. This is what I eat every day, a cup of beans. By the way, I don't recommend canned beans. They're very unhealthy for you. Well, Mike's been tiring me out, but hopefully I'm gonna build up the quads. <laughs> Sold the BMW and got a bike. This is cool because, uh, so. Bikes it's, and beans. Bikes, bikes and beans. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're sitting there with a nice car, you wanna start your business, you need some capital. Living proof right here, yeah. so. It's with, with its pros and cons, but um, it all supports the end goal. The end goal is to be a creative, multi-platform, starting a TikTok, just something I'm super passionate about, and you need a means to get there. Just so you guys know, Travis that you just met, he joined this space maybe two weeks ago and he was shooting a TikTok video. I was like, no way. By the way, guys, always talk to people. There's a lot of cool people at Coworking Space, but besides the fact, what kind of sparked a light for me was he said that he's doing contract work and then he's doing pretty much, he's almost in the same situation as I am and a lot of other Americans that are reinventing themselves right now. This could be a really good situation where like we're both trying to do the same, something very similar. There could be a lot of opportunity for collaboration and potentially building a business together. Very heavily say potentially. I will never, ever, ever, ever a million times over ever go into business with someone until I've worked with them. I've, I've had so many bad partnerships because I didn't do this. I don't know what'll come out of that, but that's super cool to find someone else that's like literally quit their job, dropped everything to go full time into TikTok. Like he freelances, which is what I'm doing to like pay the bills, it's so awesome. Not sure if anything will come of it, but you know, a lot to think about. All right, so quick update. Right now I'm in the process of figuring things out still, um, especially with TikTok. I know there's a lot of ways to leverage the platform. I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to leverage it. Just in the process of figuring this all out, but it's exciting. It's also like, I'm, very, I'm actually like a bit stressed. I don't get stressed, but I am like, fuck. I, I like, it sucks being this far into this project, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. I like making fast decisions, but this is like a little bit too fast in terms of like, okay, here's a business I'm gonna pursue. So today I'm gonna to do some outreach on different websites, like reaching out to as many mentors and people as possible. You, you knock out a lot of birds with one stone. I get to build my network, build my network, and I'll be able to learn a little bit more about the marketing business. But the second thing I get is again, like I might get business from that. The third thing I get is I might be able to send business to them. I might have someone come through my pipeline. I'm like, oh, well I can't do, I don't do email marketing, but this guy does. And then I can just send them over to that guy. So really you're hitting three birds with one stone. Um, so, a lot to do today, so I'm gonna go get to work, but uh, I'm excited to get to it, excited. I have a TikTok question, I'm gonna go ask Travis. Instead of having to look it up, I can just talk to him about it. Yo, what's going on? Oh, dude, this is cool. What I'm thinking of doing is like selling packages to people to actually physically go there and shoot it for them. I wanna be able to knock out at absolute minimum 15 TikToks in a single visit. Okay which is like a full day of shooting, for yeah. sure. You sign someone on like a $2,000 a month retainer, you go there twice a month, you're at like 700 in costs. So that's what I'm thinking. It's all, it's all feasible and exciting, and I think a lot of places should and would take you up on it. I think the prep work is the greatest service you could provide. Because the last thing you want to do is show up, think you're going to be there for six hours, all of a sudden it's like nine and a half. Yeah, so I guess it's also figuring out like what types of content that you're going to create for them and like the, the approach. Because like I want people to be really personable. The dancing stuff's great. I just don't think that's a great pitch. Because like I don't think people are going to want to dance. You can't do fucking 15 dances in a day. The dances get more complex and... And if it doesn't come out looking good, what was the whole point of shooting? That's that's helpful. I think like the approach I'm taking, I want to turn business owners into influencers. So people get invested into them and then they'll want to go because they like love the owner or love like some people that work there. I think yeah. to me, that's a better approach because it's more sustainable and scalable. Well, cool right. stuff, man. I'll talk to you later. Right. Peace. Adios. Thanks. So again, this is why co-working spaces are great. Would never have met Travis. I'm not just alone. I'm not alone trying to think through this stuff, do, doing Google research and shit. I can go up to him, ask him questions about TikTok, and we can bounce all ideas off each other. And he's adding value to me. I'm adding a lot of value to him. If we work together, great. If not, again, like we can still support each other.
So I just finished uh, making my new site. Really all I'm doing is duplicating the old site that I was using. The reason I do this is this new site is all dedicated towards TikTok, which will mean it'll convert higher when I bring people to that site and say, hey, we're a TikTok agency, all we do is TikTok. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna keep doing outbound campaigns with like an accounting marketing company to people. I'm just gonna do a more general one that focuses on TikTok. There's little things that I still know I can get better at, like like spotting viral trends, but I'm spending over two fucking hours every day on TikTok. That's, I, I can't actually believe that stat. So I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. I'm excited to see how all of it goes. And anyone that's like watching, that's like, oh, TikTok's gonna get banned, TikTok. If it does get banned temporarily, or if it, you know, if it even gets banned permanently, this type of content will be taking over social. By the way, it's not dancing. I'm not talking about fucking dancing. I don't go on TikTok and make fucking dancing videos. I did one. <laughs> it was it was fucking terrible. Like I can pull out my phone right now and I can go like this, and then I can ramble. I can go on a rant for two, three, four minutes, or I can create a TikTok video, and I go, I can shoot myself here, put text, shoot myself here, create text, shoot myself here, create text, and share the same exact type of value in a quarter of the time. There's so much opportunity right now to just grow out of nowhere, just go viral out of nowhere. That's gonna go away over time. So for me, getting in this agency, it's not a TikTok agency. Like, I'm saying it's a TikTok agency right now, but the text will change over time if I stick with this. It's gonna be short video marketing. You'll see it everywhere. There's three ways I see packaging it. First is training and consulting, whether that's through like courses or actual physical consulting and coaching. The second is actually just taking over their TikTok and doing everything. That means physically going there, shooting the content, editing the content, deploying the content. And the third is a mix of we'll call producing and consulting, where you're saying, hey, here's the types of stuff we're doing. They produce it and they send it to you to edit it. That's my approach. That's what I'm gonna do. I wanna help some companies locally and I wanna help me make some people go viral so I have really good case studies. So like this girl I'm working with, we're about to create a lot of viral content as of talking right now, right now. She has 12 followers. We're gonna do the same video in a month and she'll have, I think I can get her to 20,000. We'll see. We're gonna get her to 20,000. The next step for me is I'm going to start setting up cold emailing. And the one group is mentors. Second group of people that I'm gonna be sending cold emails to is, I'm gonna call it warm outbound. Then I need to set up cold outbound. If you send enough cold outbound, you'll get some clients from it. I spent 40 hours total. That was setting up the CRM. That was setting up the email sequences. That was writing the script. Like the amount of time I actually cold called for was maybe 20, 30 hours at most resulted in three closed deals. I need to start setting things up where appointments are being set without me. And then we just gotta get money coming in. We get money coming in the door. All while this is happening, I have an idea for e-com that I'm really excited about, but I'd like to still start learning a little bit about it, tiny, tiny bit in my free time, and then eventually maybe partner with someone to actually launch that brand that I really wanna launch. It'll be really fun, I can't wait to do it. Uh, so we'll see, but get back to work because we got a lot to do, we got a lot. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time we release a new video. And I will see you in next week's video.